Hello and welcome to the second tutorial for Edware. In this video we are going to be talking about the menu and the menu is up here in the top left hand corner. As you can see we have a whole bunch of options in here and we can actually unlock more options by logging in. But first of all we have the new program which is pretty simple. It just opens up a brand new program which will just be a screen exactly like this. Now the next thing we are going to do is looking at the login. So login opens up a whole bunch of extra stuff that you can do. So all you need to do is put your email address and password into here to log in or create yourself an account. Once you have logged in, you'll get a successful login alert and you can close that off and then you go up into the menu. You see that there are a bunch of new options up in here. So now we can actually save our programs and we can also save as our programs. Uh, this is quite useful if you've already uh, created a program and you want to make a few changes and then save it as a completely different program. We can toggle up to full screen. We can look at the about section for Edware, which just gives you a bit of information about uh, how Edware was actually built and created. Then we've got a, a share button down here, but we need to first load a program to use the share button. So if we go and have a look at the load, the load will pop up a menu for us. The very first thing you'll see is my programs up here. So these are all of the programs that you yourself have created. I have created quite a number. Then also we have the test program in here, which is a great one for testing to make sure that your program downloads work and work correctly. Then we've also got all of the uh, programs from Edbook 1 and all of the programs from Edbook 2. So these are the examples that are used in both Edbook 1 and Edbook 2. So if you're a little bit stuck, you can come into here, click on either of these and have a bit of a look through the code that you need. So I'm just gonna quickly go into my own programs and then we're just going to open up a quick little loop example here and we'll have a talk about the share function. So I can hit share here and then I'll get a share link created just like this guy and I can copy and paste this anywhere I like onto the forums, into Facebook, into Twitter, wherever and somebody else can click on this link, load up my program and download it into their own Edison. So that's a handy little way of uh, sharing code out to people or getting your class if you're a teacher to give you code so you can then mark it and make sure that they're doing everything correctly. The final thing that we have in here is the settings. So these settings are just making sure that your email address is correct. You can change your email address at any time and you can also change your language in here. So we now have Edware in 13 different languages and that is growing all the time. So make sure you keep on top of that and change it to your own language if you need to change it to your own language. So there you go, that is the second uh, tutorial for Edware. Hope you guys have enjoyed that one and we'll see you next time.